What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Aquarius for January 10th to the 15th of January 2021. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, where your messages will 100% correlate to your story, because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me for a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make and you would like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe buttons. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera, like always for you Aquarius, so let's get right into the reading. We got some interesting stuff. We got the Queen of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles with the outcome the King of Swords. So... We have two star signs that are both um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, there's two people in the situation. There is you and then there's somebody else, female or male. This is a gender bender deck. It doesn't matter. There's two people in the situation. When they are of the same stature in the same suit, um, they become a power couple. These are people that are usually directly paired together. And I'm not surprised because we got a card of a family situation. So I get uh, it's not going to resonate this way for everybody. Uh, but some of you are going to be married to each other. This might be a spread of a marriage for some of you. Uh, for others, it can still be a relationship or a friendship. Um, most likely, it's going to be a committed relationship where uh, it doesn't matter what form you have it in. Polyamory doesn't matter. Um, it, it's still a relationship, and there is multiple people involved in this Um so a family sense. I, I get this as it doesn't matter if you're married or not. This can still apply to you if you are in a relationship. Uh, but these are a power couple. These two work very well together because they are of the same suit. Um, that's just how the tarot works. They pair up. Um, so we have the King of Swords, the, the Queen of Swords. Both of them are of their highest self. Um, we have the Page, the Knight, and the King and the Queen are the highest that you can get. It represents that they are both physically mature, that they are both physically um, either older than others or more mature emotionally. It represents that they are both very good at speaking and both of them would be the people's champion. They would both understand um, they would both give you the, the shirt off their back, but the second that you betray their trust, they would cut you out. They understand very solidly what they need in their life and what they do not need in their life. And, uh, they only keep people in their energy that resonates with their energy. So if somebody is shitty to them, uh, they, they don't tolerate that. That's not something that they are, that's not something that they're willing to do. So they're, they just cut it out, um. But it represents that they are high thinkers, it represents that they are very intellectual, they are very, very good with the way that they talk. They can come off as cold because they have been shaped by pain throughout their life and that's kind of why they are very defensive and to the cut. But this is really saying, I'm getting the sense in the storyline in my head, that you found somebody that uh, works very well with you. I feel like you have been through a lot of trauma in your life, both of you have. Um, and I feel like that's why you two work really well off of each other, because you really understand each other where others do not. And that's why the both of you are like a power couple. This is either indication of a new relationship, or it's just kind of a, a check-in of saying this is going really good. Like you have good things to be had here, you should be thankful for them. That type of spread where it's just a really good check-in, um, and there's really not necessarily anything happening in this. Uh, well, there is, but it, it's not saying like, oh, you're losing this or this um this is really just a card of stability when we have this coming out first of all when we have a power couple coming out with a card of holy crap like this is the biggest that you could get for the suit of pentacles and it is a doozy uh the ten of pentacles is the penultimate in this deck and it represents almost winning a lottery uh it rep rep it would represent that this relationship almost feels like you have struck gold it says that you have a lot of good things that you should be recognizing which i'm sure that you are uh, but it's saying to make sure that you're grateful for these things you have a lot of either mat it doesn't matter if you have material abundance or just emotional prosperity it's saying that there is a lot here you have very solid stable grounded roots it's Think of trees, think of the red forest trees, uh, the redwood trees that just, they intertwine within each other and they keep each other stable and they keep each other um, afloat. They are each other's stability. That is what I think of when I see this spread. I it's, This is just a state of being um, where it's just a, a progress report, essentially just saying that you are in good company, uh, that the person that you are with, even, you know what, even if it doesn't necessarily have to be completely um 
a romantic situation. It could be a platonic friendship where just you and this person are like, you can't like get rid of each other. You're, you're like paired to the hip. Uh, this is kind of that spread. This is such, I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, this is such a very, very short and sweet and simple spread of just you, you and your person, you are a really, really good team and you have a lot of good financial, it doesn't have to be so financial, but you have a, a lot of good stability in this relationship. This is really, really, really good to get. I don't, I don't get readings like this a ton. This is really good. I love you very much. I will see you on the flip side. Peace out to my moon tribe. Bye.